What is up guys, welcome back to yet another brand new Mage Bin gaming video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always. Now, it's been a couple of days, but I've now actually finished for my the first time ever playing the Life is Strange game, the, this franchise. And you're probably thinking, well, why is the game sealed? And it's because I actually downloaded the, um, the uh, enhanced kind of remake version of this game. Uh, remaster is the word I'm looking for. Uh, I, I'm, my brain is not there today, but the remastered version is not available on disc for some reason, but I still picked up the original disc because I like to have a physical copy of something. Um, but I just want to talk about this game, and I just think that this game is such like... I, I know it's a popular franchise, but I still would class this game as kind of like a bit of a hidden gem because I know there's a lot of people who don't play these games and maybe think, ah, oh, it's not it's not something I'm going to enjoy or it's perhaps not for me personally. But I kind of thought that. I kind of thought it's very story-based, it's very decision-based, and I've just realized I absolutely love that kind of game. I mean, I realized that before when I played, um, like, for example, I played the Walking Dead Telltale game, it's the first one, and I think I played the second one. I need to play the others at some point, but um, I just didn't think this would be my kind of thing. Like, it's, uh, you know, it's just not normally something I would play, but I absolutely love this game. The way the story is written, I'm not going to spoil anything in this video, or I'm going to try my best not to. I suggest you go play it. Um, seriously, go play it but uh it's it's such a well-designed well-crafted story that's really not too long if you do like i got the platinum trophy on it uh, because it's such an easy platinum you literally go and have to find collectibles in each uh, there's like 10 collectibles in each chapter of the game and there's six chapters so 60 collectibles and they're very easy to find but you can follow a guide if you're worried about missing it they're really not difficult though um so i got the platinum trophy and i think that only took about 14 hours of playing this game and it was every single hour i just enjoyed it it was just absolutely fantastic the decisions really do affect what happens during the story it's not excuse me it's not one of those kind of games that you they make out that it changes it really does change everything like every decision you make is an important one in this game it can affect lots of different stages throughout the game which then affects what happens at the end and you have a very big decision at the end of the game which i believe could actually well potentially the new game that's coming out i can't remember what the new one's called double exposure i believe i think it's actually going to affect that because in this game the main character on the on the box here is called max caulfield and she is not in any she's so she's in the uh, there's a sequel after this called before the storm which i want to go on to play next and then they made life is strange 2 now life is strange 2 does not actually have any uh, actually i think before the storm is a prequel but life is strange 2 does not have max caulfield it's a completely different set of characters and then also true colors that came after life is strange 2 true colors doesn't also is also not got anything else it's not it's nothing to do with this game it's it's completely brand new characters as well but i believe that um the new one double exposure is absolutely going back to this origin of max caulfield and um i said no spoilers but i'm gonna kind of have to spoil it to talk about this so if you click off the video now if you do not want anything to be spoiled but at the end of this first game you make a very big decision to save your best friend chloe or to save arcadia bay the whole town from a hurricane and i believe or a tornado i think it is i actually think that if you save chloe in in the end of the first game i do think they're going to have something in this game where potentially you actually she's actually alive in this later game or maybe you see her or maybe there's more photos of her on your wall for example because there's a lot of intricate details in this game i suggest once you've played the game as well go and watch some youtube videos about hidden things that you've missed because there's genuinely little things like uh one of the characters who kind of has a crush on max is literally hiding if you look out a window you can see him popping out popping his head around the corner and going back every now and then to see if she's woken up because he wants to like ask her to go to the movies um or this drive-in cinema or whatever um is what we would call it in the uk so you can actually see little intricate details like that there is so many references to so many films some i actually spotted uh, like there's references to breaking bad the uh kind of drug guy his rv that's parked in the in the um uni university kind of parking lot area his number plate is breaking Bad. i believe there's a ton of number plates uh, across all a lot of the cars in this game that are references to films tv series and various inspirations that the actual uh, the 
the, the director of the game actually hacked and they took a lot of various different things, even down to things like Alan Wake, which is um, really, really interesting and is a game that I'm actually playing through myself right now after playing this game. So. Um, I just, I just have a lot of love for this game. It's made me incredibly excited to play the next one that's coming out, uh, Double Exposure. I think that looks like it's taking it a step further. You have uh, like your rewind power. That's part of the main thing of the story in this game is as Max Caulfield, you get this ability to rewind time to affect the outcome of people that may have died or, or had problems. And you can rewind time to fix those issues or in some cases actually make those issues far worse. Um, and there is some flipping moments in this game we i was actually like i actually put my hand over my mouth one of the chapters i was like oh my god when you go back in time a long way to change something that happens to chloe and you guys if you play the game you know what i'm talking about you go back in time and something happens to chloe and i was just like at the end of the chapter like it was like a breaking bad moment like flipping hell like i've got to go on to the next next episode the next season or whatever like it's flipping cliffhanger so that was so so good but the next game double exposure i believe has uh gives you the ability to not only rewind time but you're also going to be able to jump between the realities so if you've created or if you've got this secondary reality where uh, a character is affected in a different way you can actually then swap between realities to bend time and maybe if you do it in one reality it kind of also changes the other the reality and it's just so interesting it's really really interesting and i'm looking forward to seeing how they go about doing that kind of aspect of stuff but i've got to say this game is one of my favorite games now and i would place this easily probably in my top 10 games that i that i absolutely love it's 100 percent one i'm going to play through again i want to play this with my girlfriend because i think she's going to really enjoy it and it's kind of one of those decision-based story games that we can play together so i'm 100 percent going to go revisit this perhaps next year or something like that um so it's kind of fresh for me as well i don't remember everything and, and guide her through it i kind of want to experience it again so i've got i've got to go play more life is strange i've got to go and get the um before the storm game and and then i've got to kind of I'm probably not going to get time to play all the others before the new one, but I don't think that matters because you kind of want to play the ones with Max Caulfield in. But I will go back and play the... <laughs> Sorry, I'm sneezing. I will go back and play the other games um, as well. Uh, sorry, uh, guys, I'm a mess today. I kind of like leaving some of this stuff raw so you can see that nothing's perfect in life, <laughs> especially me. Um, but I'm excited to go play more for sure. I can't wait for the new one. Um... But yeah, great all around game. Definitely go pick this game up. Uh, I think there's differences between the remaster and the base game, which is here. I think in this game, they actually changed a few things for the modern audience that may be in the, in the remaster that would not be happening. And I think there's a few little minor changes to like certain people's characteristics um, are based around certain things. So um, I don't wanna say too much because I don't wanna get demonetized or whatever, but go buy this game, play this game. It is absolutely phenomenal. That's all I have to say about it in this video right now, but please do leave a like, please subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and uh, let me know if you've played the game, let me know what you think of the game down below, are you excited for the new one coming out, always interested to hear you guys' opinions, so uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in future videos, bye bye for now.